In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a bolt in NX. So first, you have to know what your dimensions are. So I just looked online. In this case, I'm looking at metric hexagon. I looked online, found a chart here to get the information that I need. I need to know the size of the head. So I'm going to do an M6. So if you look at the size of the head, it's 10 millimeters across. If you look at the depth of the head, that's K. It's between 4.37 and 3.62. So about, that's approximately four. Um, those are the things you need for the bolt because you know what the diameter is if you know the size. If it's an M6 bolt, then that diameter is six millimeters. So let's start with the head. Unfortunately, let's see, this is a model, it's in millimeters. Unfortunately, in the student version, they've stripped this down. You do not have that polygon tool that you can use to draw the hex, so you have to manually draw it, which is kind of a pain. It takes longer to draw the head than anything else. Um, so yeah, because you've got rectangles and so forth, but you do not have the polygon tool. So this is what I did. I'll start with a circle. I know, and I'm just going to use this more for reference than anything. I know that that S dimension is 10 millimeters. So I'm going to use that as a reference. I can put pretty big dimension on there. And there's a formula. You need to know the length of the side of this. And that formula that you use for that is you take the this dimension here and you multiply it times the tangent of 30 because the angle that the angle here if you had a horizontal line that angle is going to be 30 degrees so if you do 10 tan 30 it'll tell you the length of this arc and we'll see how that works out so let's start by drawing a line and it's going to be if you do 10 tan 30 it's 5.77 so i'm going to make this line 5.77 long hit enter and i want it to be at 30 degree angle and i'm going to do another one and that's going to be a vertical and that's 5.77 angle 90 and i'll do one over here and that's 5.77 and that angle is going to be 150 Oops, 150, there we go. And I am gonna need a horizontal line here too because I'm gonna mirror just to make things a little bit easier. Need a mirror line. Okay, so what I did was draw a line that went from the center up through there, center up through there, center up through there. And I just used a mirror tool, <clears throat> select the curve, so select those select the center line and that's going to be that line right there say okay so now let's see i can actually don't need that horizontal line <clears throat> don't really need that table anymore either but now all you have to do is connect each of these endpoints <clears throat> and you'll see if you're doing this right they should all be tangent to the circle. And that's kind of nice to have that circle there as a reference to make sure that you got it right. Okay, and then we can just erase all this stuff. It's a lot of construction. Again, if you had the full-blown commercial version, you could just simply draw this. So it's a lot of rigmarole for old head but that's that finish that the depth of that thing was five and there's my bolt head Let's sketch on again I'm doing a six millimeter bolt m6 so you know that that diameter of the shank is going to be six millimeters extrude that however long your bolt is let's say it's 15. turn off that sketch and you always want to put a chamfer on the end of your bolt something small i just did a half a millimeter 
And there's my bolt. The head looks kind of thick. I think maybe that was supposed to be. Uh, I think that was supposed to be four, actually. Okay. Got to thread it. Pretend you don't see that. Um, there should be another command up here to let you get to the thread tool, but there's not. So you're going to have to load that. So if you come up here into this white space and right click and do customize, this will pop up. And then if you type in thread, this will pop up and then just drag it, drag that thread tool up here. And that'll be, that'll allow you to get to that. Otherwise you can't find the stupid thing. So then if you just click on that thread button, select the cylinder and click uh, your thread size, obviously, and I've, I've already, based on the diameter, it was six millimeter, it figured out what I wanted was a six by one. It could be a, obviously be a fine thread too. Um, right hand thread, you don't have to change any of this stuff. The thread length, you can make it more threads or less threads with that number. There's two views, two types of threads. You can see the symbolic, which just shows the hidden lines, which doesn't show anything right here, but it is there. Or you can do the detailed. The detailed look, mess that up. Detailed look better, but be careful because it takes up a lot more memory on your computer. If you have a whole bunch of bolts, like on an assembly, you want to use that simplified representation for your thread. So that's how you would create a bolt. Again, the that takes the longest is just making the head, but you have to have something to represent that.